I really love books because it just feels, makes me feel um, I could do anything. They help me smile, cheer me up, and they just make my heart pound and fix it back together when I'm feeling glum. I was rubbish at reading. I struggled with reading. I used to hate reading. Children who struggle with reading often struggle with communicating, um, so they lack confidence. It was embarrassing and frustrating because I didn't really know how to read. It made me feel tense and apprehensive and worried that one, one time my teacher's actually going to tell me to read. That was kind of embarrassing because then like I didn't know a word, everybody would start laughing at me. That made me not talk to anybody in our class. I'd much rather be in a cage of lions <laughs> than be in reading time. When children lose confidence um, and interest, they can become disruptive or they can opt out and kind of zone out and not be participating. To be honest, I don't like to fail. I was very moody, sad and angry. Every day, they wouldn't be getting much reading time because I'd just be chatting to them and get annoyed if they did get any because like, I thought, well, if I didn't like books, why did why do all everyone else like books? And I didn't think that was right. The best thing about being a teacher is seeing a child have that eureka moment and reading enables a child to become an independent learner and to have that moment all by themselves. So little Elle ran, bouncing and tumbling through the snow with the fox hot on his tail until... My friends gave me this book that they'd been reading, it was only like 50 pages long. And I read it in one night and I was back at them, I was like, can I have another book, can I have another book? It was kind of crazy. It makes me feel a bit happy because now in year six, I, I can develop, I develop my words and I can do better in my writing, I can get a good grade in your six. I can't put books down really. Now I'm good at reading, it makes me feel proud. <laughs>